of the glorious Quran is not a book of science, but a book of science. Yet it contains many undeniable facts related to science. Wormholes. Angels use wormholes for transportation. Look up to the night sky and select the star as a destination. Can any human reach the star by just walking few steps? General relativity explains a mechanism to contract huge distances into few meters. Albert Einstein called this mechanism bridges in space-time. Today, scientists call them wormholes. A wormhole acts as a shortcut connecting two distant regions in the universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this method of transportation to his angels throughout the universe. The Quran calls them Ma'arij and describes how angels use them for long distance travel. Einstein's general theory of relativity, which is the, uh, our understanding of how gravity works in the universe, says that any presence of mass or energy will warp the fabric of space and time. And so you can think to yourself, imagine warping space and time in such a way that you can cut a portal from your location in space and emerge in another location in space. So these wormholes, which we can describe on paper, we don't really know how to make them. And if we did know how to make them, we wouldn't know how to keep them open. The equations show that they are unstable. You might step inside and then it would collapse down on top of you and who knows whether that's a good thing or not, it's probably not. Today, we know that these ma'arij is what scientists call wormholes. Physicists know how a wormhole works but never actually used one. Do you remember how a frictionless roller coaster works? That is, you start high and slow, and then you go down and fast. But when you come back up again to your previous height, you return to your previous slow speed. Well, the wormhole is the most efficient roller coaster you can imagine. Energy is not required to move through the wormhole. That is, you can simply switch off your rockets. Gravity accelerates you and pulls you through and then expels you to the other side. You will feel like being swept by waves at the beach. Nothing more. On your way through, gravity causes your clock to run slower and your ruler to shrink. Distant observers see you accelerating with relativistic speeds as a result. Your energy and mass increase dramatically in their view. But when you get out the other side, everything returns back to normal. Your clock ruler. In the Quran, someone asked about the penalty that will befall the unbelievers. A penalty that has known to ward off. A penalty from Allah who owns wormholes, ma'arij in Arabic. The angels and the spirit ascend to him in a day, the measure of which is 50,000 years. Any object passing through this wormhole will also experience at the same time dilation. And not just those angels, this time dilation does not say how long it takes you to cross through the wormhole. It just says that when you pass through the wormhole, you age by this ratio. Wormholes are not strictly for the use of angels. Our Prophet wasallam, used the wormhole once in the Isra and Mi'raj. Mi'raj is singular of Ma'arij. Allah says that those wormholes are doors in the heaven that contract interstellar distances into walking distances. The resulting scenery is bizarre. Allah says that those who do not believe in the message will not believe it even if he showed them a bigger sign. He created beautiful towering structures in the heavens. If he opens for those non-believers a door in heaven and lets them continue passing through it, 
to those distant structures, they would not believe that they really got there by simply walking a few steps. Instead, they would think that they are just optical illusions. In the Quran, they do not believe the message like those who preceded them. Even if we, Allah, open upon them from the heaven a door and they continued passing through it, they would say, our sight is bedazzled. Rather, we have been bewitched. It is we, Allah, who have made towering structures in the heavens and made them beautiful for beholders and we protected them from every evil spirit accursed. Here, they wouldn't believe their own eyes, thinking that what they see is not real. They wouldn't believe that they got to those heavenly structures by simply walking a few steps. But Allah insists that what they see is real and not illusions, that is, they really got there. In the Quran, on the day when we will fold the heaven like the folder compacts the books, and as we originated the first creation, we shall return it, a promise binding on us. Surely we will deliver. Here Allah promises to make the big crunch not by gravity, but rather by folding the heavens like a book. That is, by the same mechanism he controls wormholes. This means that this big crunch can begin and end in a fraction of a second.